Um, all of these things are important in ordering your priorities, especially when the narcissist is going to use their the things that have worked for them in the past. And it's important that you know that when you are starting to make a new pattern of behavior. So for example, I'm gonna start a new pattern of behavior of, let's say I'm going to take time to, um, you know, think about what I want to say to the narcissist for 24 hours in most situations before I respond, either through my attorney or through talking parents or our family wizard or whatever, whatever it is that you use to communicate with a narcissist, right? When I make that decision, um, I need to know that the narcissist is going to be, be doing more of the same thing that worked for them in the past. So if their, if their normal techni technique was to send a message, send a letter through the attorney, whatever, that was clearly like written in such a way that it would be inflammatory, that it would, you know, provoke some sort of reaction from me, then I need to expect that. I need to know that that is what's going to happen when I, uh, when I decide I've made a, I've made a new commitment. Hey, I'm not going to respond for 24 hours. The narcissist doesn't know that. All they know is, hey, why didn't I get a response? So what they're going to do is more of the same. They're going to send an even more escalatory message. They're going to send something that's even more inflammatory. They're going to do something that's designed to get you to stop doing what you've just committed to yourself to do, which is wait 24 hours before I respond and instead react like, like you have been doing. They want the normal supply feed. It's just going to view you the same way. Hey, this thing has always done exactly what I wanted it to on the time that I said it should do it. Why is it not doing it anymore? The narcissist is going to do more of the things that they think will elicit a reaction that they want from you. Because when you find yourself saying, I have to do that, I have to do that, I have to do that, your day is going to be filled up with a lot of things that you have to do and very few of the things that you get to do. I get to be a coach today. I get to be an auntie today. I get to be a daughter and a sister today. I get to be a chef today. <laughs> I get to feed my family today. Start treating it as the honor that it is. The things that are important are become more clear, right? Connection to others is more clear to me. Today, as you're interacting with the narcissist, instead of saying things like, I have to respond to their message, or I have to let my attorney know about, you know, that, that thing that they asked me for, or whatever, you get to advocate for your children. You get to be active in the process of building yourself a new life apart from the narcissist. When you treat it that way, you will automatically enter into that dialogue or into that interaction differently. You will automatically think about what you are doing in terms of gathering the documents or having a conversation or whatever with your attorney differently. This is important for the outcome of your case. You show up as a different person. You show up as the person that you are supposed to be, right? That you are destined to be that has gotten weighed down, buried, stolen from because of the narcissist and the situation with the narcissist. But today you can change that. You know, the moment that you decide it's different is the moment when, where it's going to actually be different. So today I encourage you to remember what an honor it is that you get to build yourself a new life. You get to build yourself the life that you actually want to live. And it's a privilege to do that. It's an honor to do that. And so change the way you speak to yourself. You don't have to say, you get to say, uh, I get to show up in this way for my family today, as opposed to I have to.